its engagement in the water distribution industry, Metro Pacific Investments Corporation owns and administers the Maynilad Water Services Incorporated and the Metro Pacific Water Investments Corporation. Maynilad is a private water and wastewater services provider. It is managed by Maynilad Water Holdings Company Incorporated, which is a joint venture between MPIC, DMCI Holdings Incorporated, and Marubeni Corporation. In 1997, it was granted a 25-year exclusive concession by the Philippine government to operate, maintain, and invest in the water and sewerage systems in the cities of Manila, particularly in the 17 cities and municipalities that comprise the west zone of the metropolitan area. In 2009, this 25-year concession agreement was revised for an additional 15-year extension. Meanwhile, Metro Pacific Water Investments Corporation invests in water distribution, bulk water distribution, wastewater treatment, and industrial water distribution for areas outside Manila and across Asia. These water distribution companies provide water and sanitation services through joint venture partnerships with local water districts. Its bulk water supply companies provide retail bulk water to partner water districts through developing water sources and supplying treated water to meet present and future water demand. Its wastewater treatment companies use proprietary technologies for the recovery of contaminated water sources for both potable and non-potable water applications. These companies commit to creating ecologically viable solutions for reusing water. Finally, its industrial water companies supply water to industrial parks throughout various economic zones in Vietnam. Among others comprising the list of its subsidiary companies are Metro Pacific Tail Water International Limited and Metro Pacific Water International Limited, which are both incorporated in the British Virgin Islands. All others are incorporated in the Philippines, including the Mandaluyong Metro Manila-based Ecosystem Technologies International Incorporated, which pioneered the technologies that allowed the biological recovery of multiple sources of contaminated water or wastewater for reuse in potable and non-potable applications such as that used in toilet flushing and plant care in SM malls. Meanwhile, among its associate companies is the Equipacific Hold Co. Incorporated, which, in a joint venture with Laguna Water District, owns the Laguna Water District Aquatech Resources Corporation. Moving on to the business risks that these corporations are susceptible to. As discussed in the Independent Auditor's Report for Maynila's 2020 Consolidated Financial Statement, one of the risks that Maynila is exposed to is the foreign currency risk. Foreign currency risk is the risk that the fair value and future value of a financial instrument will fluctuate because of changes in foreign exchange rates. Maynila's foreign currency risk arises primarily from movements of the Philippine peso against the United States dollar and Japanese yen. Consequent to the requirements of the concession agreement between the Philippine government and Maynilad, the latter is required to service the foreign currency denominated loans of the Metropolitan Waterworks Sewerage System or MWSS. Loan servicing is a process that includes the collection and remittance of payments to creditors and other payments necessary for the settlement of the due obligation. Because of the agreement, Maynilad must deal with loans that are denominated in foreign currencies with revenues that are earned in Philippine Peso. In 2020, Maynilad recognized a net foreign exchange loss of 1.1 billion pesos. With foreign exchange risk, unless a company ceases to engage in the foreign market altogether, there is no way that exposure to this can be avoided. However, there are ways that this can be mitigated. One way is to negotiate for currency forward contracts. A currency forward contract is an agreement that arranges a purchase or sale of a currency at a preset exchange rate and a predetermined future date. With agreements like this, companies like Maynilad can protect themselves from losses consequent to a weaker Philippine peso against a stronger US dollar or Japanese yen. Alternatively, it may cause them to miss out on possible gains due to a more favorable exchange rate. Regardless, currency forward contracts can allow companies to hedge their investments against adverse price movements in a consistently fluctuating economic environment. Meanwhile, one of the major risks emphasized in the Independent Auditor's Report for Metro Pacific Water Investments Corporation is credit risk. Credit risk arises from the possibility that an issuer of a financial instrument defaults on its obligation and then cause financial losses such as those that arise from the impairment of a loan receivable. 
A company can mitigate its exposure to credit risk by limiting its transactions to financial institutions with unestablished credibility. As in the case of Metro Pacific Water Investments Corporation, they only transact with institutions that have demonstrated financial soundness for the past five years. And, as per the audit report, the financial assets concerned were evaluated as high-grade and not credit impaired. Now, as to their business strategies, of the three customer value propositions, Mynilad and Metro Pacific Water Investments Corporation primarily offer operational excellence. Companies pursuing operational excellence aim to provide reliable products or services at competitive prices and delivered with minimal difficulty or inconvenience. Manila operates the longest ISO certified water distribution facility in the Philippines and it enables them to deliver over 2 billion liters of potable water every day. Further, it maintains and operates four water treatment plants that run on advanced and pioneering technologies. The plants meet the global standards for quality management and environmental management and the Philippine national standards for drinking water administered by the Department of Health. Meanwhile, the Metro Pacific Water Investments Corporation invests in water and wastewater infrastructure projects to provide reliable and sustainable water and sanitation services to communities. Its joint ventures with local water districts operate companies such as the Laguna Water District Aquatech Resources Corporation that commit to ensuring water security both in terms of safety and adequacy of water source and water supply to sustain expected growth in demand. Out of this commitment, the LARC established its five reservoirs in strategic locations to increase water pressure to support increasing demands and further boost water supply reliability during peak demand. Additionally, it maintains a chlorine dioxide generating system that is programmed to ensure correct dosing of chlorine dioxide into the water distribution network to comply with the Philippine national standards for drinking water. Metro Pacific Hospital Holdings Incorporated is known as the largest private hospital operator in the country. Nationwide, it has a total of 18 hospitals with a 3,300 bed capacity combined. In addition to this, it has also invested in Allied Health Colleges, a growing chain of primary care and cancer care centers, and a central clinical laboratory. The primary risk that MPHHI is currently facing is that investments may run ahead of demand and patients' willingness to pay. The business continuously upgrades its facilities and equipment to be more effective and efficient in serving patients. However, this may be a problem since there is a possibility that equipment may become out of date before its cost is fully recovered. One way of mitigating this risk is to ensure the target market and scale the improvements to their willingness to pay. The business focuses on customer intimacy as a business strategy. Undeniably, there is no industry closer to its consumers than healthcare. MPHHI invests in its skilled and well-trained personnel to ensure that employees hired are qualified and competent enough to align with the business's goals. Medical experts are driven to understand their patients and do detailed patient data analytics to develop a treatment plan that fits with the patient's specific needs. Moreover, the entity also advances its facilities, regularly upgrades hospital equipment, and develops new services to ensure the best health outcomes and patient experience.